Hey guys, Lizzie here and welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing a nice little phone video, mostly because I forgot that I didn't have anything prepared for today and I'm sorry that this video is late, but at least we're getting something up. <laughs> but today I got a DM on Instagram asking me about like how I take care of my stick and poke tattoos after I do them. And I thought that would be a good topic to throw into an actual video. So that's what we're doing. So really, I want to open this up saying that a stick and poke is an actual tattoo. So really, you want to apply all of these same aftercare steps to a stick and poke as you would a professional tattoo. Mostly because, you know, they're the same exact thing, only one's done with a gun and one's done with your hand. So I'll link a couple of helpful videos down below that I've personally watched on taking care of tattoos. And then what I'm putting in this video today is like what my tattoo artists have told me in the past, so I'm just sort of replaying that information. Let's get into how to care. So the first thing is wash it with an unscented soap. And I personally will wash mine in the morning and at night just to like get any of the gunk off of it. And I feel like that's a pretty good, like, happy medium of washing it. And also I do tend to keep mine covered for like the first 24 hours, 24 to 48 hours, just because I don't want it to rub on my clothes or anything like that, because sometimes the rubbing can make the ink come out. Um, so yeah, also keep it covered when you're sleeping to keep any like debris or anything out of it. Any dust, any like blanket fuzzies or whatever, just keep it covered for as long as you can. So that way it keeps it clean and it keeps it nice and, uh, and safe. Keeps it nice and safe. Also, I'll link a couple of my favorite unscented soaps down below, or like good ones to use. I personally use the Lush OD Creamy Dreamy um, shower cream on my tattoos because it's really nice. And then another thing I want to say is after you wash it, make sure you moisturize it with an unscented lotion. And again, I'll link a couple of them down below. Um, I use the Lush Dream Cream. I think for most of my tattoos I don't have it right here with me surprisingly but that's a great one it's very light on the skin which is nice and it doesn't make you feel like sticky or anything so I'll link that down below and also there's a thing called the Joshua Tree healing salve I'll link that down below as well um, and I use that typically for the first like 24 to 48 hours whilst I'm keeping it covered because that can get kind of messy but it does wonders of healing your tattoos perfectly. But yeah, I want to wrap this up saying that um, treat it like a professional tattoo because just because a stick and poke is home done doesn't mean it's not an actual thing, you know? So look up different sources, different articles and things like that. Get yourself educated before you get a stick and poke because you are opening yourself up to a lot more um, chances of getting some sort of infection and things like that. So you definitely want to be smart about it and you definitely want to take aftercare seriously on a stick and poke. Sometimes even more seriously than a professional tattoo, mostly because it is home done and you want to make sure it's nice and clean and nothing goes wrong because that can be quite dangerous. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you did, give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of my content. I'm trying to get back into making more tattoo videos because I really do enjoy them. Um, I just want to say that I love you guys and I will see you in whatever I happen to make next.